Another feature that people typically check from their data is the presence of outliers. Outliers are influential observations or observations that are different from other observations. While outliers are not an assumption or lack of outliers is not an assumption in regression analysis, there are reasons sometimes to delete them. So you have to understand why you have an outlier. Let's take a look at outliers. So here we have the prestige data set. We have a regression line of the effect of education on prestige and it's a clean nice regression line. The observations are homoscedastic. They are spread evenly around the regression line and there, is, uh, there are no problems. What happens if we have one observation that is very far apart from others? We have an outlier here. So what will that outlier do? The outlier will pull the regression line toward itself and uh, now with the outlier included in the data the regression line goes uh, the slope is a bit less and also it no longer goes through the middle of the remaining observations rather it goes kind of like too, too low here and too high here. So the outlier clearly doesn't uh, we don't want to have it here but before we decide what to do with the outlier we have to consider the different mechanisms. So, so what is this observation really about? And uh, it could be that it's a data entry mistake. So uh, the occupations prestigious is really should be uh, 70 but somebody wrote 17 to our data set. Or it is possible that this is an outlier. If these were companies it could be uh, a company that is uh, outside of our population. If we do a survey of small technology companies then we can accidentally send the survey to a large technology company and the large technology company could be would be outside of our population so it's not part of our sample or or our population or it could be a case that is uh, very unique if we're studying the um, growth of small technology based companies then for example uh, Supercell a Finnish game developer that makes a uh, billions of euros of revenue on games on App Store is an outlier because while they technically are a small and young technology based company they are so different from other companies in their performance that using that company when our regression model typically wants to explain the bulk of the data so where most of the observations are then including that particular outlier is uh, something that we probably don't want to do. So outliers are either, they could be uh, observations that are truly unique. They could be worth studying separately as case studies. They could be data entry mistakes and or they could be uh, observations that don't belong to our population and were included in the sample accidentally. The effects of outlier depend on two different things. So we have uh, first the residual. So how far the outlier is from the regression line. So outlier pulls the regression line uh, toward itself and the strength of or the force is uh, related to the residual. So we want to minimize the sum of squared residuals. If one observation has very large residuals, then it uh, pulls uh, very strongly the regression line because uh, it's the square of the residual that matters. Another uh, concept is the leverage. So if we are pulling the regression line here, where there are few observations, then we have a lot, uh, lot more leverage and the regression line moves more than if we pull it from the middle here where there are lots of observations. So pulling the regression line from here has uh, zero leverage and uh, the outlier wouldn't really matter. So we check at leverage and residual when we do outlier diagnostics. After we, when we identify outliers there are, in, there are three important steps in the process and Deep House's article is a really great example of how you deal with outliers. First you report how did you identify the outliers and uh, Deep House used residuals. They identified companies uh, or banks with large residuals. Then they looked at, they analyzed the outliers. So what do you, uh, what is the outlier like? Is it the data entry mistake? Is it a company that shouldn't be in the sample? Or is it a unique case that is not representative of the other banks even if it belongs to technically to the population? They identified that there, was a, there were two banks that were merging and uh, if you have banks that are merging then uh, 
that is probably quite different observation than others and they, they decided to drop that observation from the sample. So that's the third step. Explain what you did and what was the outcome of doing so. So they explain that uh, what was the effect of dropping the outlier and they conclude that it didn't really make a difference of whether they include that observation in the sample or not. And that's a very good example. They are, if you want to read more about outliers and, and good practices, I recommend this paper by Aguinis and his students. They write how you identify outliers in regression analysis, structural regression models and multi-level models and what you can deal, how do you can deal with the outliers. Sometimes outliers are problematic, sometimes they are data entry mistakes which can be fixed, sometimes outliers are truly in interesting cases that you should study separately. So yeah, so that's what the DFAS paper did.